Hello, electrician. Hi, my name's Darren Faulkner from Faulkner & Sons Electrical Services. I'm here today with Voltman and ABB to demonstrate the ABB Free It's Home automation system. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to commission a system, how to use a system, and also how to wire the system. We use the ABB Free It's Home automation system for the ease of the wiring, the ease of the commissioning, and the end user experience, and also for the reliability of the product. So here we have the 4.3 inch touchscreen. From here we can control the whole house via scenes that we can customise. We can control lighting, temperature and sound. So we can scroll across pages. It allows you to have four pages, each with lighting and scenes on. Here we have the 7 inch touchscreen. Similar to the 4.3, obviously bigger. We can upload scenes, lighting, heating and it's used for the intercom system. Here's the digital room stat. Cloud and install these in every room. This helps with the eco for the house. Once you raise to the temperature you require, you'll see the icon will come on to show that it's cooling for heat. The power button turns the stat off and the eco button will set the eco mode. Here we have the four button switch. In the software, you can configure it to be rocker or push button. This enables you to link one switch to one light or you can link one switch to a scene of lights. It gives you great versatility. The ABB Free at Home automation system integrates well with other systems such as Sonos and Amazon. You can use the Alexa speakers to control your lighting, your heating and your audio. I will now demonstrate how to use it. Alexa. Turn on morning scene. Okay. As you can see, the lights have come on and the music is playing. So this is the low voltage bus cable. It comes in two core or four core. We wire to the devices as you can see. We sort of daisy chain them. This reduces the amount of cable you use on the installation. The beauty about using this bus cable is you can run it alongside the mains cable without any issues. So this is the cupboard where the ABB panel will be positioned. These are the mains cables which we wire to each room for each lighting point for each different circuit. These are the bus cables which we've wired from each switch position and stats position back to the panel. The beauty about using a bus system is you don't have to worry about two-way switching or intermediate switching. We do that later on within the software. The mains cables, we don't have to worry about free plating at the switches or the lighting point. We literally connect each circuit back into the device within the panel. Here we have an ABB panel with the devices fitted and connected. We've got a dimmer module, an eight channel switch actuator, a four channel switch actuator. We've got the bus connected into the bottom and then we've got the mains feed coming into them and then the switch lines for each circuit going away. All the devices have their own identification number on them. When you're commissioning, if you press the identification button, this number will come up on the screen on the software which allow you to commission the device. So I'll now show you how to install a four button switch. As you can see on the back, it's got an identification number on it again for the commissioning purposes. As you can see, there's only two bus cables here which is great. On traditional wiring, if you're trying to wire an intermediate two-way switch, you can have loads of cables at the switch. Here we only have two. Basically all you do, get the red cable, push it into the positive terminal, the black cable into the negative terminal. Same with both cables. Simple as that. Once you've done that, just literally click it into the frame. I'll now show you how to install the room stat. Exactly the same principle as the switch, positive and negative. You'll notice we've got one cable at this, this stat position. This is the last one on the daisy chain. Set, set the same again, 
push the red cable into the positive terminal and the black into the negative terminal. Once you've done that, just click it into the frame. With the devices being connected to the bus, which is extra low voltage, there's no issues with installing the stats or the switches in the correct zone within, inside the bathrooms. This is the system access point. It's connected to the bus, which communicates to all the devices within the bus system. It's Wi-Fi enabled. What this does, this allows us to connect to the software within inside the system access point before we have internet at the property. This allows us to do the commissioning. We're now connected to the system access point, as you can see down here. So now you go into your web browser and we type in the IP address of the system access point. You can also find that inside the system access point as well. Once you pre press that, it then takes you onto the software. Obviously, this has already been commissioned, so I'll show you how you connect in. You click on installation and you put in the password which you set up. Click on configuration, and this is what you see. So, house structure, this is where you set up the floor plan of the house. If I click on that, you see we've got ground floor and first floor. If I click on ground floor, you can see the rooms. Dining room. Hall, utility room. Guest toilets. Kitchen. Okay, so this is the house structure, which has obviously already been set up, showing all the rooms. And then we go to devices, where you allocate the devices into each room. So as you can see, we're in the kitchen here. So I'll just show you how easy it is to install a switch, the allocate switch. So if you click onto the rocker, drag that into the position. Then you literally go to the switch in the room and press, press the button. And the serial number comes up on there, which is the same, which is on the back of the switch. Then you label the switch. Kitchen switch. That's now allocated into the kitchen. Now what we want to do is sh show what button you want to connect which light. So click on the button, click on kitchen spots, and save. So now if I go back to the switch, we know the top left hand button will turn on the kitchen spotlights. That's so. So once you've fully commissioned the system and you've downloaded the app, simply click on the app and then you control the whole house from your phone. Select the room you want to control, select the lights, and turn them on and off. You can also dim them and you control the temperature on and also raise it up and down. As you've seen, it integrates well with third parties such as Amazon for voice control and also for Sonos for audio control in all the rooms. An installer should choose ABB3 at home over other products in my opinion for the versatility of the system, the ease in which you can wire it, the ease in which you can second fix it, the ease in which you can commission it, and also what it does with the heating and the lighting integrates into one app, it makes it great for us. A great benefit of this product is the drag and drop in the commissioning side of things, and also you can control the heating, the lighting, and the audio within the one app. And also, it's really easy for the end user to use. Also, great benefit is all the wiring accessories, such as the double sockets, TV points, the Cat5 points, they all match within the same range. For a contractor, pricing a job is always an issue. The ABB3 home automation system is competitively priced compared to other systems out there.
Once the installation is finished, you can always add stuff at a later date. You can add on dimmer modules, you can add on blind controls, you can also add on an intercom system, for example. This gives you great versatility for future expanding an installation. Having installed many different automation systems in the past, ABB3 at home is for me the easiest to install, the easiest to commission and the easiest to work with in my opinion. I would recommend the Free at Home automation system to other electrical contractors like myself for the reasons that the products are always regularly available from the wholesalers, never have to wait for any materials, the versatility within the bus system itself, the speed in which you can connect and commission the system and the key factor for me is how easy it is for the third party that you're passing the job over to to use.